Hi y'all, welcome to Dark Angel Enits. It is, oh my goodness, it's August the 12th, 2014. <sighs> this year has gone like nobody's business. I can't believe it's gone this fast. <sighs> if you might notice, there's a few changes. Behind me is a massive brown thing, which if I move this way, you'll see three knobs. It is my ginormous closet that my dad built me. And my husband. It's great. I love it. <sighs> Yay me. Um, the other thing that's changed is I'm in a different room. And you can sort of see green walls there. Um, we painted our bedroom like a, that green. It's, it's okay. I like it. It's not feminine. <laughs> my husband um, didn't want me to paint it feminine. So it is this green kind of um, sagey green to me. That's fine. And we ended up knocking down the wall where my office used to be and it became our bedroom. Which is awesome because this is like one massive office slash bedroom and it makes me very very happy to see it. Oh, that was months ago. That's sort of how this got stopped. We started that and then nothing got finished and the room was a mess and life went on. And trust me, I had the cold so many times this winter, and now it's summer, and I still have a bit of one. It's more slash allergy slash cold. The kids are lovely. I should have more. Not. Alright, so, you're all here for the knitting podcast, right? Right. Alright, I have one project that I didn't bring that is finished, and I believe it's in my children's room needs to be washed. But no worries, I'll talk about it next week when I get back. So on with the finished objects. Alright, so I finished and made the Baby Love Shrug by Alicia Wilson and it was super fast. It looks like this. It's kind of strange looking, right? Yeah, it's really cute though. So they put it on just like a little sling. Come a little close. So they put it on, like a little sling, then they put their baby in here. Yeah, really cute. Like, and then their mommies. They're really funny. Karen, my love bug, my my youngest daughter, I made this for her. Um, this is out of... I can't remember. It was cheap. It was chunky yarn I have. And I made a shrug out of it, and I might show it later in another podcast. Because I whipped it up since I've seen you all, and it didn't take very long at all. Like, a couple days. And that's with me prattling along. Alright, so one done. Another thing I finished, and these are in no particular order. I didn't just whip them up last night. They're things I've done sort of recently, during the summer. So this is another one. It's called The Knitted Rose Medallion by Teresa de, de Monte. I know it's a free Ravelry pattern. And so is the Baby Love Sling. This one went really fast. There were a couple errors. Um, but really can't expect that much from a vintage pattern. Like, I think it was made in the 1800s. Maybe the 1900s. I'm not sure. Like... I don't remember everything about it, other than I had difficulties in about four different rows. Yeah. And it was an errata, obviously. It was an old knitting pattern. But I'm going to give this to a friend of mine, Jane, because I think it would look pretty in her house. I don't know if you can see that, but the yarn changes colors. This is what was left over from that um, nefarious shawl that I knit. Ooh, ages ago. But I still have yarn from it. Imagine. Alright. Third thing. Third and fourth thing I finished are the Sweet Little Granny Hat by Anna Figueroa. Yeah. You see an issue here? I don't know if you can, but I can. This is the first one I made. Yeah. It's more like a worsted weight yarn. And I used a... S I want to say a size 4 hook. Yeah. Me and Gage, not best friends. Totally not. Especially with my crochet. 
so I striped in this blue because I thought it would look pretty and then I used the rest of the black and this is going to be for James it does fit me but it's snug on the back so I'm going to give it to him and it looks like a cute little slouchy hat for him I don't know he thinks it's cool and then this one is going for my niece my newest niece yeah I, you heard me I said my newest niece She'll be arriving shortly, in the next few weeks. My sister, Laura, will be giving birth to her second baby girl. Yes! And I'm excited to meet her. We don't know in the name. She hasn't told us. But um, my little niece, Natalie, will soon be a big sister. And this will go to her. Yeah. I think it came out baby size. I'm hoping. It seems... Lately, babies have really big heads. <laughs> they just, lately, mine didn't seem to, but my sisters do. That's okay. So finally, I'm going to be an aunt of two baby girls. Yes! If only she let me dress them in knitwear, we'd be totally rocking. But she's an anti-knit kind of person. I don't know. Something's wrong with her. But anyway. So, the fifth thing I've finished is the Julian Vest by Rhea... Buttervick? Buttervich? I haven't washed or blocked this, but it's just this nice little detail up the center here. And this was supposed to be the newborn size? Yeah, I don't think so. It's more like the six to nine month size, I think. But then again, I'm not good with gauge. I've understood this. I'm not afraid. Now this one. This one's awesome. I'll save it for last. Because I really want to show you. This one hasn't been washed or blocked or woven in, but it is finished as far as I care. I will finish it before school, and I'll tell you why. This is the... what is it called? Crochet Baby Set by Nell Armstrong. And it is this cuteness. And here's the back. It was supposed to fit a baby, and it sure doesn't. And if you see people, those are my children, and they're supposed to be sleeping, and they're not. But we already know this. Yes. So yes, I finished this, and it went pretty well. I had some difficulties, and I started it twice. No, three times. I want to say I started it three times. Because apparently me and Math aren't friends. I think there was an issue with the pattern, but don't quote me the yawning. I'm sorry. I know it's the middle of the afternoon. <sighs> but life is crazy. Anyway. So this is it. I'm proud. It fits Caroline, my youngest. And it's really cute on her. And I'm keeping it short sleeves. I just like it. I'm not 100% sure how to finish this edge. I'm thinking I'll just leave it and weave in all the ends. Because on camera it doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised. Yeah, I just have all these ends to weave in. And all of the stuff that I currently showed you is all a scrap yarn. Yeah. Totally crazy. Alright. <clears throat> and this is my second last object to show you. Can you see that? That is awesome. And I finished it. I'm so proud of it. And it blocked really pretty. This is what prevented me from podcasting. Yeah. Totally. Oh, Caroline, you're in the wrong room right now. Can you come back a little later? Okay. Go play in the playroom. That was Caroline. <laughs> this is called Gale, or aka The Night Song, by Jane Arju. A-R-A-U-J-O. It's very pretty. And I really like it. I knit this out of Malabrigo, and I do have the tag, but if I reach for it, things might fall down, and it'll go crash, bang, boom, and nobody wants to see that. So we'll, we'll just save it for later, another time. Sound good? Sounds good. And my very last FO, you might say, that wasn't enough. Well, no. Check this out. This is called the Breakwater by Jody Lavanda and it turned out pretty well 
I did change the pattern slightly for these yarn overs here. I actually ended up using more than it suggested. It suggested to do two wraps. It's been a while since I've done it, so I think I did three. Oh, and you see Caroline back there? Yeah, she's sneaky. Please go to the playroom. Yes, so I was supposed to do many, many more rows, and that wasn't going to happen. I wanted to get this done quick and easy. Yeah, it took longer than I wanted, but it looks fabulous, I think. I've only worn it a few times, so I'm happy with it. It doesn't make me to look too frumpy, I'm surprised, but it doesn't, but it's really warm here. <laughs> So after this, it comes off. But that's okay. So those are my FOs. And now you might ask, what on earth are you working on? If those are your FOs, what are you working on now? Well, here we go. I learned valuable lessons this winter. I did. Believe it or not, it is possible to learn things from me. Oh, and I'm partway through a room. But you all understand, right? Okay, so this is called the Callous Shoulder Shawl by Anna Smith, Annie Smith. <clears throat> and it is coming out pretty nice. It's really hard to see. Oh, you can see part of the pattern there. It's very pretty. And I pulled it up on my iPad to show you what it looks like. Just turn it on. Come alive. Not right now, please. Two minutes. And it looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So the valuable lesson I learned was I'm allergic to mohair. And this, the shawl is made out of mohair. And here's the skein. Oh, so pretty skein. Hmm. Alright. And it is from Wellington Fibers which really isn't that far from where I live. Well, a few hours drive, really. And I got it on a trip when we went up there because I can bribe my husband to do crazy yarn trips and I will continue to bribe him and it works very well. But I went up to Allura and it was great and this yarn, that was two summers ago. Yeah, because I had to endure a truck show not my thing. But it made him happy. So, if he lets me go to yarn places, then I guess I could go to a truck show, right? I just keep my horrible comments to myself and nobody complains. Hi Beans, you're in the wrong room. That was James. So anyway, I'm losing track of myself. Having children does that to me lately. But anyway, this is 60% mohair, 40% wool, in this dark purple color and it's very pretty but I realized that it makes my eyelids itch like inside my eyelids we are getting through it I'm almost done with this shawl I only have about 15 17 rows to go I'm hoping to get through it quickly <laughs> and this is tea very good tea I'm really liking it today. Alright, second thing on the needles. This one's kind of a hot mess, but, oh, and I left it in a part of a row too. Go figure. <clears throat> yeah, I told you who the designer that was. So, let's see if I can get this. Oh, don't drop anything. That would be bad. Just pull the needles like that. Ooh, I'll show you the pretty part first. This is the Dahlia cardigan. And you really can't see much. It's crazy. And over here is the bottom. I think. Or side. And over here is the part that will wrap around for the front. And there's the other part kind of neat. I'm not really looking forward to seaming the bottom shut or the top shut. 
but fingers crossed it works out. Let's hope. Can always help. And that is by Heather Zepetti. And I will show you a very nice picture of it. It looks like this. And I'm hoping mine will look like that. And let's see. Like that. And this is the front. I think that's very pretty. And if I could pull it off, I'd be very happy. Make me very happy to have a nice pretty sweater. I bought that yarn, like, I won't kid you, two years ago. Really wanted the sweater then. And just never got to it. But now I'm doing it. Totally I'm doing it. Third thing on the needles. So y'all remember how I said I don't really like knitting socks? I still don't. But it doesn't mean I'm not knitting them. Just do not enjoy knitting them. Really? Really. So here's... Oh, that looks pretty there. Looks nicer there than what it is in my knitting bag. So this is called the Toe Up Toddler Sock by Jen Nielsen. And if you've seen, I've got the heel in. And they're not toddler size. Hmm. You ask yourself, why aren't they toddler size, Angel? Because they're not. They're just not. They were meant to fit Caroline, the littlest one back there, the farthest away. She's hiding. Oh, there she is. They know they're not supposed to be here, but they can't help themselves. Oh well. Anyway, they were supposed to fit Kara, and they don't. They fit Catherine. Go wonder. They're this much too big. Yeah. And I'm not ripping it out a third time. So they're going to go to Caroline. Or to Catherine, I mean. Who someday will pass them down to Ka Caroline. Too many cuts. But, anyway. We're working on them. Slowly but surely. That's the first sock and only sock so far. Yeah, because today I thought we'd try them on before nap, and much to my disappointment, they don't fit her. But that's alright. We'll make it work. We'll fit Kathy. It'll be okay. The fourth thing and last thing on my needles, as of this point, because I am trying really, really hard not to cast on something new and random, because I want to make my socks go away. They are the Solid Sock Mystery from February and March 2011. Yeah, I'm behind. But this is what mine looks like so far. So this is the front. And they have this really nice design. It's like a cable-y look. And they're stripy. And then, if you notice here, it comes up on an angle. Oh. You see that? Isn't that pretty? That's the back of your leg. Now that I know that's the back of the leg, it makes the next part much easier. Because I made a mistake already. Go figure. I put the heel in the wrong place because I thought they were different. Yeah. They totally aren't. So that's the heel. It's done. And I'm just decreasing the gussets right now. And I hope to have them done and beyond the foot. Beyond the foot by the time you see the next podcast. That is the hope. We shall see. With these socks? I don't know. My other worry with these socks are... I don't know if I have enough to get across the foot. We're hoping. And then I still have to do another sock. I have one more ball. But I'm not sure if I have enough. I did knit a pair of socks this winter. In the exact same colorway. For my mother-in-law. And I believe there was scraps. And here's what the sock looks like. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I just want something different. And I told you who it was by. No, I didn't. By Lisa Stitchwu. Stitchwu. S T H. No, S T I C H W E W. No. Lisa Stitchwu. S T I C H W E H. There. Done. So yeah, that's what I'm working on, and they're crazy, but I'll get there. At least I've done that shawl. That was butt. Pain in the butt. Yeah, like, it was great until I got to the border, and then it was, 
I had to follow a different chart and it was chaos. But that's a beauty. Hmm. Alright, so that's all my works in progress. So upcoming, my plan is to work through my queue. Yeah, like that's ever gonna really happen. There's almost two thousand projects in my queue. I don't know what y'all use your queue for, but I really do intend to knit them all. It's just I pick and choose, so they're not necessarily in order. The plan is to at least get ten things done a month. So you're pretty sure they're smaller ones that I'm gonna get done. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, what else? My other plan is there is a bag over there. And I could show it to you, but you won't. Next week I will. Uh, it's a bag I got from a garage sale. It was a Ziploc bag full of yarn. And I mean one of those big Ziploc bags. We don't even sell them here normally. So I'm not sure where this person got this big zipper bag, but she did. And then maybe a month or two ago, I noticed they sell them in the dollar store. I've never seen them before because they don't sell them at our grocery store. So they're different. But they're great big 20 liter grocery bag or zipper bags, like Ziplocs, and they say Ziploc on them, like crazy. I digress. Anyway, it was full of yarn. I paid 50 cents for the bag. I just really wanted the two dolls that were in it. It was a knit doll that has like a, a voice box in it. The shoe's broken, but she looked like Raggedy Ann. And I thought the girls would like her. And the other one was this little bunny girl. She was about yay big, I think. And she was really cute too. She had little ears. And I thought the kids would like them. That's pretty much the only reason I bought the bag. And then she's like, oh, what are you going to knit with that? And I was like, hmm, I don't know. So I knit this sweater out of one, one, some of the stuff that was in there. If you notice this color is the same color as some of the other stuff, it's because there was like 12 balls like this, all rolled up that used to be something else at one point. So it took a long time to get through all that junk. And there's other stuff I can show you I knit out of that yarn. It'll just be in other episodes because there was a lot of stuff I did. Anyway, my plan is to finish off that bag of junk. And I moved into a smaller bag, which makes it more easier to handle. Just one minute. Guys, please give me a couple more minutes, please. Thank you. Anyway, um, the other thing I'd like to talk about. Is anybody interested in doing a virtual knit night with me? If you are, let me know, comment in the thread, and maybe we can set something up. Because I know you all are busy, and I'm busy. But I still like to get to know people, besides low people. Yeah. The other thing, alright, so that's all the ongoings and the upcomings, the going ons in the house. Oh my goodness. We've done a lot of things to the house since I've talked to you all. We've insulated the majority of the house, which was chaos. Turns out there was no insulation in the floor. So, one very cold day, my parents came over, and my brother, and me and my husband, and we sent our kids to my in-laws, and we got down and dirty. Oh yeah. We crawled under the house in the crawl space. We put insulation up in the rafters. The crawl spaces are oogie. Oof. We only have a small storm cellar, so the rest of the house is built upon a crawl space. We're not quite finished. There is one section that still needs to be done. And at this point, it needs done before winter comes. I'm not going to survive again in a cold bedroom, let alone cold house. But this winter, it was much warmer, like way warmer than our first one, which is a bonus because it was our coldest winter ever. I'm not kidding. It really was our coldest winter ever. Like the temperatures were insanely cold. I'm sure you all know this if you've lived anywhere near Canada. Because other places received the same crappy weather as we did. Usually people much north of us get this shitty weather, but no, it was terrible. So now we're going through a mild heat wave that will disappear and come back and go off and on. And yesterday it rained all day. It sucked. But anyway, I'm digressing again. I'm sorry. The other goings-ons are, so we insulated. Um, painted my bedroom, ripped down a wall, 
Still haven't finished fixing the wall. It still needs a little work. My dad's supposed to come and help, but he's always busy. The other thing we're doing, a smaller job, is we're building a swing and for the front deck. It just needs a few more things done, and it'll be done, and that'll be awesome. The other things that are going on is I'm hoping to get a little bit more camping in this year. We've only gone once, and it's August, and I'm a little worried. It took us a long time to get the trailer finished, to fix it up. <sighs> but we did that, and it was okay. Um, the other thing that's coming up that's kind of scary and sad, and I'm probably going to cry. My twins are going to school. They start all day kindergarten, like the day after Labor Day. Yeah. I'm scared. It's going to be quiet here. I won't know what to do. There'll be no one to yell at. I love them. I really do. But in other words, I can't wait for Kathy to go back because she's like chaos. For real. She's like my husband. Like crazy. I love him. I really do. And I know sometimes he watches, but he knows what I'm talking about. She just gets right up there and she's just... She knows where to push the buttons. But I love her. I do. I wouldn't knit the socks. I just stop. But anyway, that's enough rambling for me. Um, I hope you all come back next week and and watch me. Um, you'll be only able to watch this on YouTube and on my blog. Um, no longer subscribing to Blip. I'm sure everybody and their grandmothers know about Blip's problems with everybody. Um, at this point, I'm not going to spend a fortune to upload a podcast. Um, I wish I had funds, but I don't. I am a, a mom, a stay-at-homer. Yeah, it's just not there. But until next time, um, see you. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as Angel Ellens, all one word. Um, I have a Ravelry group card called Dark Angel E Knits. Um, the blog is at darkangelenits.blogspot.ca, I believe. It's been a while. Um, not really on social media anymore. It's just not my thing. I don't have time. The kids are too crazy to keep up with them. But that's the way life is. But until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye.